happy new year welcome back to my youtube channel happy 2022 how have you been you may miss sana it has been long it has been months literally since i posted a video on youtube uh because of reasons or rather excuses but this is 2022 we are all about being intentional and very deliberate in all that we do so i am here to be very intentional about this channel to be very very deliberate to be very consistent and i know you will love it here so that being said kindly subscribe and make sure to share this video and kindly 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 please from the very bottom of your heart don't forget to like and share and subscribe 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 we're being intentional so be intentional about hitting that subscribe button and that notification bell as well so that you don't miss every time we post a new video so i hope so far your 2022 is going as great as you hoped it would and if it is not don't lose hope it's never too late things will still take a turn and this they will take a turn for the better so see so give up um just keep doing what you're doing work harder pray harder it's life it's life it's life so as you have most definitely read from the title of today's video it is a life update i am basically talking about how my 2021 was how my 2022 2022 is so far and my resolutions for 2022 my hopes my prayers my expectations just a life update in general so 2021 2021 i feel like i'm about to recite a poem called 2021 <laughs> anyway so 2021 had its own share of good days and bad days i mean me life so you will always expect good days and bad days it's it's life and there's nothing we can do about it we just have to accept it and flow with it and where we can do something about it then we do something about it so in 2021 around april april by the way was a month that i had extremely bad days and extremely good days in equal measure i guess not really in equal measure but it was a month of extremes so in 20 in april of 2021 some of my family members um got covid and it was a really 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 tough time for us as a family majority of time covid will come and then mtu akisikia tu kwenu kuna mtu ako na corona hakuna mtu anataka kuakaribia hakuna mtu anataka kuwa serious na nyinyi so it was really tough but i'm glad we overcame and then in the same april i lost one of my grandmothers she was very dear to me but i guess it was her time so we cannot complain so it was really it was a really really sad time for our family still in april but i don't intend on making this video a sad video so we leave the sad days to 2021 and we are glad that we overcame and we are good so in 2021 in the same same april so in april of 2021 i got a job and in april of 2021 my friends and i took a vacation to the coast and it was long overdue we kept saying it's not like i've not been to coast before but we kept saying to kimazatwivi shule what of mazatwivi exams and everything and everything tunaenda coast the eight of us and we actually did and it was one of the very epic moments of 2021 so um where to begin i feel like i have said a lot and now i'm saying where to begin when we were getting into 2021 um i didn't really have resolutions i think i had prayers and hopes and dreams because i was praying that i finish school i was praying that i get a job 
I was praying that I get a good job that will allow me to move out and I was praying that I graduate towards the end of the year and like when I process through your life Ivo and I am excited and I am so grateful to God because all those prayers actually came to pass because in February I finished school in April I got a job and when did I move out and in July in August I moved out and it has been great it has been so great of course it hasn't been very very easy but it has been great and in December I finally graduated my graduation had always been a very big deal to me it had been something that I had been praying for ever since I joined campus and towards like the end of last year I was really praying for that day to be very successful and everything and it was I'm glad that I hosted a graduation party it was something that I had always prayed that I would do and friends and family came to celebrate that success with me and I was so happy and that was the climax of 2021 and I'm just grateful for all those things that went well and for even the things that did not go according to what or according to how I wanted them to I feel like there is always a reason behind everything so there was a reason as to why things happened the way they did and I cannot complain I cannot complain so fast forward not for 2022 did you guys have resolutions you can share some of your resolutions in the comment section let's just interact so for me um one of my resolutions of 2022 was to be intentional about the things that i do and by being intentional i mean to always know why i am doing things like to like really focus on the things that i'm doing and understand why i am doing this for what reason and how is it benefiting me or the other person so i have a few resolutions of 2022 and one of my resolutions of 2022 was 2022 gosh 2022 2022 one of my resolutions of 2022 is that i want to prioritize on saving um i feel like i not even i feel like i am sure and i know i am poor at saving so i really need to be intentional about saving i need to practice financial discipline this year i need to be able to stick to my budget to just be disciplined money wise and another resolution of 2020 <laughs> another resolution of 2022 i don't know why i keep saying 2020 so other resolution of 2020 <laughs> of are you stupid or something another resolution of 2022 is that i need to work on my insecurities i feel like i have so many insecurities that in turn lead me to second guess myself every time i want to do something or say something then i keep thinking what will these people think how will i look what will this person say about me and i need to just let go of all that and focus on living my life focus on being me and just you know live life okay and yeah Another resolution that I have for 2022, gosh, I'll never get this right, 2022. Um, so if you know me very well, then you know I really love reading, but I feel like in 2022, I really slacked. So I have resolved, I have decided, I have decided to be intentional about reading a book every month. So yeah, that is another resolution that I have for 2022. And I also want to start driving classes. Yes, I don't know how to drive. 
up until now na msinicheke but yes um so i also want to start driving this year and i hope it goes well so basically those are some of my 2022 resolutions of course those are not all the rest are just too personal that i don't think i should share here and the rest are just prayers and hopes and expectations for this year and i'm just praying that everything that i want to fall into place actually falls into place i will be very intentional in accomplishing my goals like the goals i have set for myself this year so i have to be very intentional and ensure that i actually achieve them but at the end of the year 31st december 2022 tutakwapa tunazi review and we see if i actually excuse me so we'll be here to review them and see if we actually if we were actually intentional about achieving our goals because then if you're intentional then you will definitely achieve them and just be disciplined and so if you're intentional you will definitely achieve your goals nothing is actually supposed to stop you and there's this quote that i have really come to love that says just because it's hard it doesn't mean it's impossible so things will get hard you will face obstacles oppositions resistance but that does not mean that anything is impossible you will definitely find ways new ways you will diversify your means and you will always find a solution for everything excuse me yeah you will definitely find solutions to solve all your problems and you just have to believe in yourself you have to pray about everything i mean nothing is impossible so about 2022 so far actually nothing major has happened it's just been work and i'm actually grateful to god i'm still in employment and i'm excited for what this year holds in store and i'm also excited for all the amazing content that i have for you for this channel and while i'm saying that kindly be intentional please be intentional and subscribe it will really really mean a lot and share so that being said i hope you you've settled into 2022 nicely i hope it's going well for you i hope 2021 ended like you hoped it would and if it didn't then let's leave that in the past and focus on 2022 focus on making this year a better year focus on achieving more than you did focus on bettering yourself focus on love focus on friendship focus on light joy any just focus on everything good keep in mind that just because it's hard it doesn't mean it's impossible so everything is possible like life itakuwa ngumu itakukalia 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 but you know itakuwa mwisho like it does not mean that now that is the end of you you can still rise like a phoenix from the ashes and you can be great so stay tuned for amazing videos to come stay tuned for great content and don't forget to share in the comments some of your resolutions some of your expectations some of your hopes and dreams and prayers and anything that you want to share in the comment section let's get to know each other let's interact and i hope you enjoyed this video kindly be intentional about subscribing i will keep reminding you this because this year we are being deliberate so please hit that subscribe button please now thank you and also don't forget to share and to like this video bye guys mm -hmm.